So, welcome back to Highfield Road. As you'll see as 5050, or should I say D400 comes into shot, that I have made a start on the tunnel. And I've started shaping some foam, or should I say some insulation. I just let 33026 pass by a minute. So it kind of gives you the effect of what I'm after. Now what will happen is, is that I will now start to build up this section across to the road bridge and then I will, if I just come up, put a cover across the top as well and then on, on the top of that it will be like um, like a trees and forest sort of scenic area. So yeah, I'm happy with the progress I've made on that yesterday and I'm going to crack on and do some more today. I was a bit worried of having the um, tunnel too close to the level crossing, but I don't actually think it's come out too bad to be fair. And it's going to be nice when I have the sound locomotives going through and you get the nice echoey sound of the sounds going through as well. And then they'll come out obviously at the road bridge. The only thing I need to decide what I'm going to do is how I'm going to tackle the, the back bit up here. Am I going to put a back scene on there or do I put a bit more insulation around it and shape it and make it like a hill dropping onto the level crossing i'm not sure yet but yeah let me just turn the level crossing off a minute but uh, yeah so that's um one to think about coming back across to the station um you've probably seen it but um i've put this back scene in which i made a long long time ago i think i've mentioned already that i do actually need to extend it because it does fall a little bit short of the platforms I may even cut it down a little bit as well, so it's in line with the bridge, um, but that's to be confirmed. And I also need to tire it up a little bit, put some more decoration on there. And if I get really close, you'll see where there's glue marks and there's some like imperfections in the cut marks of the plastic card, uh, which I'm not quite happy with. So, and also down there where there's a bit missed. So I'm gonna put some like foliage on there or try and find a way of covering it up to make it look a bit more appealing to the eye. Now, going back to the, the tunnel over there, I was gonna use um, some uh, card double entrances, some of these. <clears throat> but I've actually opted against it now and I've gone with the, um, the plastic ones, which we used to have on the loft upstairs. I just like the look of it a little bit better. But what I will do with those, I am going to give them another um, spray. I'm going to try and clean all the muck off them if I can. <clears throat> and then spray them in primer and then try and colour them up a bit more to make them look a bit more realistic. And then the two bridges, if I come over this side, sorry, I think I've got a fly in my throat. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these card ones I've built, I'm going to have another bridge section over here. Now, if you've been following me, originally I did say that I wasn't going to scenic section this part. But I've changed my mind. So, sorry, don't know where the camera's looking at the moment. But I want to give you some sort of idea of what I'm going to do. So, there'll be a tunnel entrance there. And obviously, I'll ballast up to that tunnel entrance. They'll then come through this, and this will be a whole, a, a whole tunnel entrance here. And then they will come out this tunnel here. And then that'll be the end of the scenic break. So, from this bridge, all the way up to this corner, I'm not planning on doing any scene, scenics, but that may change, of course, you know what it's like. But yeah, that tunnel may even come back a little bit further. I'm not sure yet, um, but I'm thinking if, at least if I can go there, I could put some sort of board up this side, which covers this whole corner and maybe have some sort of town scene on top. But that's quite far down the um, track, should I say, yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd quickly check in and show you how far I've got up to. I am going to crack on and do some more today. So um, I'll of course record that little bit of progress as well. I know it's a bit late, but... There you go. That'll be a nice effect. And that's all done. Right, that's five minutes of me talking. I'll, um, I'm going to cut it off here and then I'll, cut, like I said, I'll add a bit on when I've added a bit more to the layout.
Well, welcome back to Highfield Road. And as you can hear, there's a very noisy Lima 87 running around. Being very problematic, but um, it's getting better every loop it does. But as you can see, there has been some progress on the tunnel. So as you can see, the tunnel entrance is now more or more or less completed. I've also done the top and added the static grass and some trees and bushes. Got some cows on the top as well. Now what I want to do is just add a fence up over here and around and down. And then there'll be some sort of fence coming down the slope here as well. Not sure what I'm going to do about this road bridge yet. I probably might extend it out a little bit towards me. I've um, also added some little signs on the uh, road bridge for the trains. Now moving across to the level crossing, it's starting to come to come together. Got myself a, a little yard by the level crossing. So yeah, it's nice, it's, it's starting to come together. Now some of this stuff, which you'll see in shot, like the fencing, all this concrete fence, those porter cabins, it was all broken. So um, I've done some repairs on it, especially this concrete fencing, it was knackered. But um, I glued it all back together, well I sprayed it all with a primer, then glued it all back together and it's come out quite nicely. That fence is what you've seen me do previously when it was on Duckmore Junction. So I've robbed a bit off there while we're doing the um, rework of the track up there. These porter cabins, you can see they are a bit beaten up unfortunately, but they will do the job for now because this, um, this layout is only temporary. These little, um, on the original Batman kits are like metal struts. They all broke off on each side. So what I've done, I've got some matchsticks, spray painted them black and then super glued them on the front. Uh, unfortunately it has frosted a couple of the windows, but um, I'm not too worried about that because it is really cold weather and the windows will be frosted anyway. Same applies on that one. And I've added some people in, a little, little loo. And I added the Royal Mail van on the road. Now, next thing to do on the road is obviously do some markings, put some of the yellow and white markings on the crossing and then try and figure out what I'm going to do beyond there. So, as you can see, progress has been made and it's really starting to come on. So that's the next bit of the update done and I'll, I'll be sure to add more once I've done more. Very shortly, a class 89 is going to pass Greenland Mills level crossing, and this will conclude the end of this part of the update. I will just quickly show you what I've done to finish off the tunnel section. There are some touch ups needed to be done. So, first of all, I've added some fencing on the side of the brickwork um, up here 
I was a bit heavy on the old super glue, so I'm gonna have to get the paint out and just give that a little bit of a touch up. And like I said, I've uh, also added another fence around the edge up here as well. So the cows don't fall on the railway line. So that little project was one I've enjoyed. Oh, I've also done some little tufts of static grass there as well. But yeah, that was a project I thoroughly enjoyed doing this tunnel. And I think it's come out okay, actually, not too bad at all. I've uh, stuck the end piece on for the retaining wall at the back as well. I just need to color match it now with some wash painting and some dry painting, dry brushing, should I say. So that's my next task. I've also ordered some tarmac sheets to go along here on the car park. So that'll be part of the next update is getting this car park done. And then after that, we are gonna slowly move on to this side here where I'm gonna have double tunnel section again. So, I'm, like I said, I'm happy with the, the progress which has been made on Highfield Road over the last few weeks. It's really starting to come on now. It's a bit of a pain, I've got, got a fix this level crossing again. Um, got a bit of a problem with it if I just show you what I mean. So if I turn it on, oh it doesn't want to come on, hang on. Do, 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 accessory one, on. So I get the orange light come on, but I'm only getting one red light flash. And that is because when I was in here tidying this afternoon, I pulled all this out, all this out, all of this junk in here, all my fish and stuff. Gave everything a bloody good hoover. And I uh, just made it nice and tidy again, but I've just noticed that when I must have moved this board out earlier, I've knocked one of the wires out. So I'm gonna have to take that out and try and resolder it. But that'll be a task for another day. So let's just get the 87 past Greenland Mills level crossing. And then that'll be the end of the update. Thanks for watching and for supporting the channel. And uh, keep your eyes peeled for the next one. We've got uh, Meet the Fleet electrics coming on Dugmore Junction. That is why the 87 is running around, because I had to give it a bit of a service to get it working. And another little task I've got to do just before we do do the Meet the Fleet is get some weight in this 73 because he's uh, only wanting to haul about three or four coaches at the moment. So that's another little challenge. Anyway, he's done the rounds again. He's circled around. So as he passes through with the NSC coaches, I'm going to sign off uh, and just say once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.